everybody and welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. My name is Nigel Hay and this is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And right now I am standing down in Fort Erie out at uh, Mathers, 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 Mathers Gate. It's hard to believe that uh, just over a day ago, this was technically like an island. As you can see from the footage I'm just about to play, there you go. I was surrounded by water. In this particular video though, we're going to be doing a comparison of uh, what's basically how it looks now. Uh, during the storm and after the storm. So we're going to visit a few of the spots that uh, I did some of the filming at on Friday. Uh, just do a quick comparison. Hopefully you'll like it and you'll hit that the like button. Friday night when I was here, the water levels were uh, right across the road completely. Uh, cars were trying to get down the road, but they weren't getting very far. Some of them did turn back. Uh, some of the pickup trucks went through, uh, but a lot of people did fail, come back, and I'm sure the ones that did try and go across probably got a bit of damage done to their car because there's a lot of debris floating around, wood, um, logs, which is wood, of course, um, bricks, rocks. The whole lot was uh, was thrown up across the road. You can see the markings on the road where the water came right up still. You know, there's a lot of leaves, but there's a lot of water level marks behind me as well. And a couple of broken things over there, broken tree. Reminds you of like a mini tsunami. Very mini. Um, 
there's an area I didn't check out during the storm. Reason is I can't get to it really. Uh, but we've come down here right now and it's um, a lot of it's still underwater. And we've also seen a lot of trees down. And I'm in the Point Abino area or Point Abino. Abino. Is it Abino or Abino? Abino. All right, I'm going to say Abino. All right, but uh, yeah, this is what it looks like here. Now, during the storm, um, that was pretty much underwater, as you can tell from the picture, which is right here. This photo was on the internet, which came out during the storm, which was showing this road completely underneath the water, all washed out. Uh, just up there is a few of the rocks, but they've actually pushed them all aside. And just like here, they've got it all brushed up. And a bit of a pong as well, you can really smell it. It's like that uh, lake seaweedy stuff, pretty smelly. All right, I made my way down to uh, Waverley Point, uh, to the beach as well, uh, to see the level of destruction here. Um, it was actually featured on CHCH News, and I believe the uh, Mayor Wayne Redekop has also been interviewed down here about the destruction. And I have to say, it's actually quite bad down here. Uh, I never made it out here on Friday night, um, mainly because the road was uh, cut off and it was a little too dangerous around here. Plus it was extremely dark in this area, so there's no point of coming down. Uh, but now I'm down here, it is, uh, there's quite a lot of destruction. If you couldn't hear the water behind me, you might be mistaken that an earthquake had actually taken place here. Look at this. <laughs> 